Hi, welcome to Toy Hill Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler. I decided to do something different today. I am going to do a very fanciful painting of this figurine of a teacher. thought that would be something nice, something different. This is something my mother gave me and I've been thinking about her a lot. She passed away about a year ago. Also, I was a teacher. So I thought it'd be fun to do this cartoon version. I'm probably going to get real expressive with it. don't know. I'm kind of under a time constraint because I uh, want to get this done before my family gets home. Because <laughs> that makes it difficult, all the noise and everything. Alright, uh, I'm going to have to start off with a pretty small brush. This is the sort of painting that could take a very long time, no matter how I do it. Because it has got a lot of modeling to it, and I do want to have that. So that sort of thing does take a lot of time, but we'll just see what happens. And I'm just going to have some fun with the hair there. I really like this guy's hair. And I'm going to first kind of stick to what I see, and then I'm sure I'm going to go wild with it. But uh, I wanted to really get some of these really pretty colors in this guy's hair. My mother is always, was always very supportive of my artwork. And she was the type of person that she did not tell you something was good if she didn't think it was. She just could not lie. And she didn't want to. So it was always nice to get compliments from her because I knew it wasn't just because she was my mother. I knew that she was being sincere. I always I wonder about that, about my piano playing, because... Um, I, you know, I took a piano, and I played pretty well and pretty advanced, but I never really thought it was very good. And sometimes she would give me music, and she would write on it to my daughter who plays beautifully. And of course, every time I saw that, I thought, well, she's my mother, of course she's going to say that. And then I think, well, wait a minute, Mom does not do that. If she doesn't think you're very good, it doesn't care who it is, she doesn't care who it is, she's going to tell you. So that's really nice, and I think she really didn't mean it. And I started to record my playing, and I thought, yeah, I do play pretty well. <laughs> so it, it's really nice. And I certainly miss her a lot. I, we had so much in common. She was a fantastic pianist. That's one of the reasons I thought she couldn't think I'm very good. I didn't, I never thought I'd play anywhere near as well as her. But uh, she was really a tremendous pianist. And it was wonderful to hear her play certain pieces. I'm not even watching the time. And here I'm saying i got to move fast. Okay, i got to start watching the time here. Yeah, I'm just going to, you know, just play around. I probably won't even be able to get the whole figurine done before my camera's going to go off, because I like to keep these about 20 minutes, and I think around a little 20 or 20 after it starts <laughs> telling me you're done, it'll give me a little bleep. And that's very embarrassing. But we'll see how it goes. But so far, I'm just having fun, just kind of playing with the colors, not worrying about getting exact flesh tones or anything, just playing. I'll probably just leave the glass like that right now and go back into it. I'm, I have a feeling that this is definitely one that's going to be done partly off camera. But I am going to watch the time and get as much as I can done. Like that mustache she has right there. As you can see, I started this off in some magic marker so I didn't have to draw it too, because that takes a lot of time. And I'm just going to kind of leave that in so that maybe I can get more done. And I'll go back over it later. Anyway, my father was really into figurines too. He really liked them. He liked, little pieces, he liked to have little pieces of sculpture in his den. And I thought that was really interesting, because you know a lot of people are really not into art. And he wasn't an artist, but um, I think he had appreciation for it. No, my mother did. She truly did have appreciation for art. She liked it very much and loved to see what I did. And she just loved to. I took her to a gallery one time. I'm sure she'd been to them other times. And she really liked it. And she, she stopped at each one, something that, as I've said before, I don't do. I just <laughs> go through and roller skates and find the stuff that I really like and look at that. But uh, she would stop at each one and read about the artist. And I thought that was really nice because I taught for 20 years at Radford University. And although 
thought it did a very good job. I taught a lot of Art of Priest students, and a lot of them were very complimentary and liked it, but boy, there were some that acted like I was shoving bamboo shoots up their fingernails. Um, that was, you know, depressing for someone that likes art as much as I do. Well, this is fun. I'm having a really fun time doing this. I didn't think I would. And I'm kind of moving it along here. I can do a whole lot more to that. I might even stick with that pretty blue shirt. I'm sticking a lot closer to what I thought I would do. I thought I was going to really get into some real fancy expressionistic stuff like I have been doing, but I'm having kind of fun not reproducing this, which I certainly can do, as I've often mentioned I can do that, but I'm just kind of having fun looking at what's there and just changing a little bit. Nothing like painting. It's always such an experience in my oil paintings right now, I'm really having a great time doing watercolor paintings. And one of them, the first one I did, it was very much based on wildflowers at Wildwood Park in Radford, Virginia, Virginia, gorgeous park. And then the second one was just kind of kind of based on wildflowers I've seen. Um, lots of times artists will do that. They'll just kind of make something up. I think I mentioned this before that Edward Hopper said, felt like it was best when he improvised. And yeah, I, I sometimes feel that way too. Sometimes I will see something and I'm, I'm inspired by it and all, but I want to change it and modify it and just really have fun with it. And those tend to be some of my very best works. So first one turned out good and the second one I think I like even better. This guy does have a red tie. I definitely want to put the red tie in. So I think I've gone 10 minutes, so I'm doing good. I want to put that bright red tie. And it's weird because um, I've looked at this many times and never looked at it very closely, but the guy is holding a piece of paper, some kind of document or whatever, and he's got this long wooden stick that has a point to it, like an arrow. So I don't know, maybe that's supposed to be some kind of pointer he uses in class. This is an Italian little figurine, and you can't see it, but there is a point to this thing. And then it goes, and then there's that piece of paper, or whatever that is. So, it's interesting. The artists that did this, whatever decisions they were making, I want to make sure I at least get this covered in the first layer, so I'm going to get moving a little faster here. Probably not going to have time to do the background. Oh, I like that, having the pink hands. <laughs> That'll be nice. Yeah, so, you know, I'm starting with what's there, but I'm really turning into my own. I wanted that to be redder in the tie, so I definitely want to go back into that. Turn kind of brown. And it's got really dark pants, so I'm going to get zonky and make them purple. I could probably be using a bigger brush now, but I hate to keep changing my brush. Let's see. All right, now I've got a different one. No, oh, making more pink. <laughs> ah. Have a lot of, a lot of fond memories of teaching. Uh, I'll never forget when I started. I um, did a lot of art history, and uh, it just seemed like there were so many people that just weren't interested. And in I am absolutely enthralled with art history. I think most artists are, and they just weren't interested. And I thought, well, you know, this is art of preach. And we want them to appreciate art and not be real bored by it. So I decided to start incorporating actual artwork into the course. And I did a lot of demonstrations at the speed of light. And then people became very interested. Not every one of them, but a lot of them, really. Most of them really became very interested as I explained certain techniques and did these super fast demos. And I started to have guest students, and I thought that was really nice. They weren't enrolled in the class. And I didn't care. It was a big class, and I didn't care. I wasn't going to say, hey, you're not enrolled in the class. You can't come in here. I said, sure, why not? And that was, that was really nice that they had heard from their friends that I was doing actual artwork in an art preach class and having them do it. And um, they would just come in. That was a real, that's a really nice memory. And I actually had some students write on their exam how much they liked the class. And so it's really good because teachers can have a really hard time 
not every, a lot of students are not real nice about it. And they, some of them can be very, very vocal about them not liking it. And it's like, oh God, here I am working so hard. And the students are acting like I'm killing them. <laughs> some of them. Uh, most, as I said, most of them were great. And I enjoyed teaching them very much. And then towards the end, I was only teaching art students in drawing class, painting classes, and um, foundations class, which was a design class for art students and interior design students. Really liked that. That was great because those are the people that you know, art was their thing. <laughs> they loved art. So, of course, they were glad to be there and they worked very hard. And I, I really enjoyed that. That was great. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I still think I have some time. I can get them to uh, do some funny things with fun things with the background. Oh, I want to do that piece of paper or whatever he's holding. I'm going to make that yellow. Well, got some red on my brush. It's getting kind of orange. But make that kind of yellowish. Add a little yellow in here. Just like to have fun with these demos. These are not demos done at the speed of light, but I did actually do them. I figured out a way to do them so fast because not everyone there was interested in art. And they didn't want to watch me spend forever doing some artwork. So I figured out some ways to do some that were just super fast and that worked out real good and a lot of them were extremely impressed too well, i've been doing this forever so i certainly can do a tremendous amount of things I, it's natural i think i was kind of born to it of course but it's a tremendous amount of work too i've been working at this all my life and it is i mean i can't remember i'm not working on my artwork my mother was always amazed at how i would always at a restaurant with the paper placemats I would always turn it over and start drawing and I didn't think that was so unusual she would always talk to people I was always doing I thought what's so unusual about that I figured all kids would do that but um, I realized as I got older that no <laughs> no most people are not spending a lot of time working on their drawing skills and or learning how to paint in oils which I started to learn when I was 12 most people are not doing that <laughs> And it is something that I think is of interest to a lot of people. And that's why I did all those demos. And I did them to the art students too, and they really appreciate it, I know. Because um, you know, even though they were art students and had experience, there were so many things I could show them. Okay, well, I, I kind of like this. In fact, I even kind of like the way I did <laughs> one shoe, kind of yellow and one kind of red. And... I will I definitely want to go back into it. I'm still going to think just leave it as an outline and not as, of course, the way it is. It's not going to have any, not any lines in it. And because I like the way that linear effect is playing off of the areas that are, are just bleeding together and are very smooth. So thank you for watching. Be sure to click on the link to see the final painting. I have a feeling it's going to be quite a bit different. And also there are links to my website and to my work on Etsy and other sites.